Dan So often they're too good at that. So you'll see, particularly out west, 
you'll see buildup of salt crystals on the leaves. And that's not from salt blowing into them like you have here on the northern beaches where you have the beach and everything's covered with salt. It's they've actually drawn it out of the soil and out of the water table and put it in um, on their leaves and patch of mushrooms. So you get this buildup of salt. And so it's a really great plant. Um, it's a salt substitute. So we have uh, pepperberries, which I don't have. Um, I have a coastal pepperberry here. So this is a coastal pepperberry that grows along the coast. I know I said I was in the last plant, but they work pretty well together. Salt and pepper. Um, so pepperberry has a berry. Um, and there's multiple varieties found across Tasmania, um, Blue Mountains, Mount Kosciuszko, and the coastline. Um, so they can be used in the same way as pepper would be. So you have your natural salt, like your native salt, and you have your native peppers. So those are two really great plants that honestly I recommend. They're relatively easy to find commercially as well, in shops um, or online. And they're a great one to start putting in your food because it's really just replacing salt and pepper, pretty simple stuff, with salt and pepper. They taste pretty much the same, but it's adding that connection, knowing that that food is less food marks, that food is grown here in Australia, that food, they naturally are good at looking after country, they make sure the ecosystem is in balance. So knowing that the food you're eating is also doing good just by it existing, just by it being grown. So I'll pass this around to you. Um, I'll open up to any good questions. Um, and if, if you have a question you don't want to say it here, just come find me afterwards. So 